Police raided two smoke shops on the island and arrested five people who were in court today facing multiple drug charges. News 12's Darius Radzius has more. People who live around this smoke shop are relieved. Just so happy. For the last year and a half, it's been nothing but heartache. Diane DeResta, who lives nearby, says she was happy to see the doors to smoke spot padlocked and a violation notice from the town of Hempstead on the window. That's following the arrest of five people Friday afternoon at this and a nearby smoke shop accused of selling marijuana and chocolate containing THC from the stores. Nail salon owner Grace Guasp works next to the smoke spot. She says she saw police outside all day prior to the arrest. Last night when we walked outside, they confiscated everything and they were taking boxes and boxes uh, into the into trucks. People who live and work around here say there were problems in the parking lot here as well behind the shop. Even this homeowner built this tall fence as a barrier. The element of people hanging around in the back, cars were broken into. A lot of activity in the parking lot. We live right next to it. Um, there was a shooting. That happened back on March 9th where Nassau police say a person working the counter was shot in the chest. Mr. Schweiker, I'm Darius with News 12. Can you tell me exactly what happened? Do you have anything to say? Do you want to talk about what happened? No. no. None of the defendants spoke to us, but Jason Russo, who's a lawyer for the two employees at Sam Smoke and Tobacco, did talk. They know nothing about what is purchased, what is sold there. They're merely very young men who are just employed to stock the shelves there. All the defendants were released by the judge without bail. At First District Court in Hempstead, Darius Ranzius, News 12, Long Island. All right, thank you for that report, Darius. And we are still waiting for a response from the town of Hempstead, who shut down both of those smoke shops. As for that robbery back in March, police tell us that investigation is still ongoing.